Welcome back to BetX, and it's time to talk about the beautiful game, World Football, and the World Cup starting on November 20th. And we want to prepare you for this matchup, this monumental matchup, by reviewing two of the groups per day, per show. And we're going to give you the scoop on what to expect going into the World Cup. And hopefully make you some money. So let's get into these groups. Group A, we have the Netherlands, Ecuador, Senegal, and Qatar. And Group B, which is one a lot of us are going to be focused on, we got England, the U.S., Wales, and Iran. So let me get to these questions and let's see. We're going we're gonna to figure this out together, all right? We're going to figure this out together and see which way we're going to go and what's on the landscape. So I'm going to ask you, Eric, first. Now, the, the Netherlands at minus 1,200 and Senegal minus 110 are the favorites to qualify from Group A. Ecuador is even money to advance and host Qatar minus 175, the favorite to finish at the bottom of the group. Talk to me about some of the players you see in this group and who you're expecting to show up. I'm looking at uh, Senegal's Sadio Mane. Yeah, he, he's a big-time scorer. He plays for Bayern Munich. Uh, he, in the qualifying rounds, he leads. He, uh, he led in goal involvement, assists, goals, uh, does a great job. He's super active. He's a left wing, but he's a righty. So he, with his speed and his uh, the un unorthodox play, I think he's a, he's a guy I'm definitely looking for. Yeah, Mane is going to be hurt to start, so we got to hope he comes back mm -hmm. as quickly as possible. He's a huge, massive part of that team. Yeah. I'm looking at Virgil van Dijk for the Netherlands, the favorite, minus 280 to come out of the group. He missed the Euros a few years back with a knee injury. He's going to be one of their best players on defense. Then we got Frankie de Jong. We got a lot of the guys on the Netherlands that I'm going to be looking for. They had This is like the new generation of the Netherlands. They had the old guys, Robin Van Persie, Arjen Robin, and like this is like the second wave. I'm interested to see what they do coming into the group. Facts. All right, Minty, what are you looking at as far as Group A? Anybody uh, of note to watch? Yeah, I mean, you got to go with the Netherlands, right? Because they're the best team in Group A. They scored, what, 33 goals in 10 matches. And this offense is really talented. But obviously, that price of minus 1,200 is too high. So I might look to Ecuador here. Uh, the team has a lot of young talent, uh, young players who are very fast, very hungry. But they may be a little overlooked because of their lack of experience. So for my, like, value pick, I guess, I'm going to look at Ecuador in Group A. Yeah, I got my eyes on Mendy for Senegal. He hasn't really been starting the last few games for Chelsea, and it seems like it might have all those W's from, from uh, the African Cup and then Champions League and all of that might have caught up with him a little bit. So we'll see if he'll be able to gear up and get back into form for the World Cup. You're not giving up goals. You can't lose, right? I mean, yeah, that's what it is. <laughs> or, you know, Mendy. Mendy's world class. He yeah, just got to no find question. it well, again for, for Senegal. No now let's go to Group P, loaded. England, U.S., Wales. England more than likely will make it. Iran likely won't. So that leaves Wales and the USA vying for that second spot to advance. For the U.S. to qualify as a slight favorite over Wales, that's what the odds are saying right now. U.S. minus 105, Wales at even money. So, um, Sean, I'll start with you. What are you seeing from any of these teams that helps frame how you would want to approach betting on them? I'm looking at England purely off the fact that they are completely loaded top to bottom on their roster and they have a little pressure they're coming off showing up in the final in the euros the english the the british folks want them to bring it home they say that that's their saying you know it's coming home i think this is really interesting spot because now the expectations are there the rosters the roster is there we got trent alexander arnold harry kane uh, Bukaya Saka. There's a lot of guys. Raheem Sterling, who, who who's the most experienced guy on the team. I believe he has like 73 or 74 caps. They have the roster. The expectations are there. If they don't make it to the semis, I think it's going to be considered a failure. I'm looking at England to see how they show up. And this is the toughest group on paper. All three teams or all four teams top 20 in FIFA rankings. So they're going to be tough. Yeah, and England is missing Reese James and a few others that are that are injury. The injury bug is hitting the entire world. Yeah. Minty, what are you looking at from uh, Group B? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's got to be England. They are the best team. I expect them to get real deep here uh, into this tournament. I mean, Harry Kane will be someone I'm definitely watching for. He's scored like 11 goals in 14 EPL games, and he's a vital member of this particular team and can always find a way to score when needed. Um, although I will be rooting for the U.S., I think that this is really a England, uh, you know, game to advance. All right, so Eric, let's talk about the Team U.S., right? Christian Pulisic and, and Jesus Ferreira are the favorites to be the top goal scorers for the U.S. 
Will it be one of these two or will it be someone else? Well, I'm definitely looking for Pulisic. Uh, he's the, the Hershey, Pennsylvania native, <laughs> you know, a guy who, who's been playing uh, well throughout his career. He uh, plays for Chelsea right now. He's been there since 2019, an exciting player, the leader of this team. But overall for the U.S., I'm going to have to wait and see. They're the youngest team to qualify for the World Cup. Uh, they only have one player that's coming back from 2014. So it's going to be exciting to see how they play. I agree 100%. Pulisic is the guy, right? That's what everybody was telling us for year yeah. in, year out. This is the youngest squad. He's now a veteran on the squad. He hasn't been getting much run. Coming into big tournaments like this, you want to be fit and be playing really well. He hasn't been getting a ton of run on Chelsea. He's only scored one goal at the club level. So we'll see if he shows up in a big spot in the World Cup. All right, Minty, what are you looking at from uh, the U.S. scorers? You know, I, I like Jesus Ferreira. He's got 18 goals for FC Dallas and MLS, and he scored his first hat trick at the international level for their game against Granada in the CONCACAF Nation League. Um, I really like the value you're getting with him at plus 400 to be like the lead goal scorer here. Yeah, and I know Pulisic, I got my eyes on him because, you know, ever since his, his manager got sacked in, in Chelsea, he's been right. saying, like, all I need is a chance. Well, here's the chance right now to Absolutely. go off on the World Cup and, and make yourself more known and get in better shape for the Premier League and Champions League and everything else coming down the pipe. So that is your Group A, Group B World Cup preview. We got more in store later this week. But when we come back, what made us smile? We'll tell you on the Betting Exchange. <laughs> 